I just wanted to show you something here, which was the Hexmoto um, draw system that I'd recently purchased at the Overland Show. Probably seen it in a couple of the uh, shorts there. I want to do is show, give you a closer look at this. It actually fit in here um, in between, between the wheel arches, which was a lucky fit because I believe it's from a discovery. I'm not sure which one, um, but it actually fit in here, which was a stroke of luck. So the way that it does actually fit suits me perfectly because I've got the spare wheel up the front there um, on the bulkhead and the, the, the box actually goes up against that. And then, it, as I said, in between the wheel arches, so it's a perfect fit. It's this really nice material. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Eiffel Williams trailers. Um, I, I say Eiffel Williams because I know that this is the, a, a very similar or if not same material, just a different color as what they use on their beds for the trailers. Um, I'm sure some other trailers probably do use this. I've also seen this as a surface in uh, shipping containers. So it's, it's a really, obviously it's a durable surface. Um, and the fact that they've made a draw system out of it, it for me is just like wow it's a real nice fit for this 79 series and i know that they do offer a couple of other bits so you can actually get it fitted properly to your truck or you can get it um, overhead systems if you have a look on their website it's really cool just to point out i'm not actually sponsored by uh, these people i just happened to come across that draw system at the show and i just really really like it i think i really like it because it's made of trailer wood too that makes it kind of cool but um, yeah, let's have a close up look at this. It's made out of that really nice 10 mil ply. And if you see that surface, it's kind of, it's all, almost got like a grip to it. Um, but it seems to be scratch resistant because I've been sliding uh, that toolbox over there across the top of it and it's been okay. Um, and it comes with these kind of straps, which I happen to have these runners, the, the little cargo rails, and that's directly underneath there. So I've ratchet strapped at the, at the front and back. And then over here, I just got an ARB uh, fridge slide straps. Um, the actual handle bit that it comes with wouldn't fit in, uh, in between this, this handle and this particular fridge. So I've just gone ahead onto there. I drilled the holes and just bolted it straight through it. It's solid as. Um, so this, this draw system is the Explorer. I, I'm not familiar with their range, so I'm not, too sure about what um, what they may call their other draw system something else but um, comes this nice latch with um, with a lock on it um, but if you just see it's so smooth that's just me pulling with my finger and this is full of stuff and if you see I'll just show you the runner system it's got look at how huge that runner system is it's so nice as it comes all the way out um i've got it a bit over overfilled slightly so it comes out to there and what you've got is this little um that little latch and that keeps it open to stop it sliding back in on you so you see it's got quite a huge amount of space you know what else is super cool is if you don't have, well, whatever bags you're going to use or whatever you're going to put in there, they come with these little removable and they just kind of slot into place just like that. And it's like separating. So if like here uh, with these few bits, like the, I keep the coffee making stuff, the most important thing at the front and it stops it all sliding about. I've got these bags at the Overland Show too. And I think they're really cool because they've got a, clear top so you can always see what's in them i know after time you kind of get used to where things are but um, i decided to give them a try it's a bit um let's say lashed at the moment because i haven't quite figured out where i want to put everything um but these little these little things are cool and then right at the back i've just got like you know the tray and stuff and a few plates and then your sort of spice bag that says coffee but it's actually salt um and then your knife and forks and stuff in there. There's a few random bits just sort of thrown in at the moment. Um, but as I say, it's a real nice system. It's got that tra it's got that trailer wood throughout. So any surface that they've got is uh, that's a downward surface has got this um, the that that finish on it of the trailer wood, and then the rest of it's just smooth sides. Um, they've used that 10 mil throughout. 
Beige suit. It's a huge, huge thing. And just a close up on the runner. And then you get, because the drawer actually closes up to here and down, so you've got those little spaces there. I think I might have used it on the other side. Oh, I've just slotted a saw, <laughs> a little saw in there, but you've got a bit of space to slot some things in. But if you see, if I just take that lock off, if it doesn't hit on my little bag there, um, you can see it's so, giving it a, and it locks up like that because it's ratchet strapped down. It's so solid. Like I, I would have, I would have been reluctant to want to drill holes in this bed um, on my 79. And literally, I've done it like that. The next next job, of course, do want to contact them to see if they'll make a piece of this wood to go on my drop down, and then we can have something uh, maybe inscribed into it like that. But the other thing that they actually did, which I love so much, <laughs> I ended up putting it up there and it's actually a, um, it's like a little table which you can sort of have off the side of your truck. So it comes with these strings and it kind of suspends off of say your roof bars and then you'll have a little table down the side, but I loved it so much that it's just got that Land Cruiser into that trailer wood. I just thought, no, I'm gonna put it up there as like a, <laughs> at the moment it just looks really cool in the back of my 79 like i say i just i think it's i'm really impressed with it i, I just am and it's definitely really good quality um so yeah just get over to their website and have a look at these it might work for you might not but i think it's definitely worth a look it's something which i think is definite good option and as i say if you've got a 79 and they've got more of these discovery draw systems then you'll know that it's going to fit cheers for watching that one um, don't forget to hit that like button because that really does help me out and of course if you subscribe and get notified those new videos coming up that's also going to be uh, really helpful and it sort of really does support there's plenty more videos coming up especially with this beast and maybe we could maybe we should get something fitted in the 45 series maybe maybe some kind of dog box on the rear that would be cool so we can put the dogs in but yeah no cheers for watching see you next one